right hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we're going to look at uh, what i call logarithmic differentiation remember we've talked about derivatives of logarithmic functions so in this case we want to look at uh, logarithmic differentiation and what is it all about now this is a kind of differentiation that uh, requires that you would take the logarithm of the function you are given before being able to differentiate now ordinarily the function does not you know contain any logarithmic expression now but because it is containing a function that is raised to the power of another function so or a number that is raised to the power of an, a function so you would need to take the logarithm of the both sides and then for you to be able to differentiate okay so that's why we refer to it as logarithmic differentiation like this is an example of a function of that type so you can see x is a function and then it's having a power of another function x so for us to be able to differentiate this we would need to take the logarithm of both sides and when we do this will now come down to this place as a multiplier by the rules of logarithm and so you will now have x mean x and so this point you will be able to differentiate let's look at the examples here now this one says that we should differentiate this function x raised to power x squared with respect to x okay so what do we have here it means that our y is equal to x raised to the power of x squared okay so like i said you would need to take the log of both sides so you have log of y you know is equal to the log of x raised to the power of x squared okay so what happens here now you would see like i said earlier our x squared is going to come down to become a multiplier so we'll have x squared log of x all right and so at this point we can now take uh, an implicit differentiation and remember that this is um, a product so you are going to treat this as a product where this is our u and this is our v so when we differentiate this implicitly we are going to have 1 over y number because it is y we will attach the y the x to it and that's equal to this is a product like I said so we are going to have x squared recall our u dv multiplied uh, sorry plus v du so x squared multiplied by dv is going to be 1 all over x then plus our v now which is in x multiplied by derivative of this is 2x and so we are going to have that of course this is going to take away 1x here so we'll have x plus if this multiplies you will have 2x in x and so you can decide to now multiply both sides by y so that you will have only your dy dx here. So if you multiply here by y now, y will take away this. And then if you multiply this side by y, so you have y multiplying x plus 2x lin x. Okay, so and of course here now there is x here, there is x. So we can bring out that x. And if we do that, we're going to have xy into the bracket of 1 plus 2 lin x. And of course, at this point, we can return back the value of our y. And if we do that, we're going to have, okay, and finally, by uh, indices, we know that when two uh, expressions of the same base multiply, you just add their powers. Remember, the power of this is 1. And so if we now join these two, we're going to have x, which is their base, and then we sum their powers, which is x raised to power 2 plus 1, and then all in bracket. And so this is the solution to this problem. All right, so we look at example 2. Okay, so the example 2 here says that we should also differentiate. Here you can see we have a function here, x, and then another function as its power. All right, so what are we going to have? Okay, so I'm going to take the lean of both sides. And when I do that, I'm going to have lean y is equal to lean x. And then up here, you also have lean x. 
and so the lin x is going to come down as a multiplier so you have lin x multiplied by lin x so this is a product and uh, you can decide to uh, call it uh, the square of lin x either ways you will also get your answer but i choose to leave it this way and when i do i want to now differentiate implicitly so i'm going to have one all over y lin sorry dy dx and that's equal to so here now this is my u this is my v so i'll keep my u which is lin x multiplied by the derivative of this which is one all over x and then plus i then keep my v which is also lin x take the derivative of u which is also one all over x and so and so uh, everything here is going to be the two of this because they are just the same so i'm just going to have two lin x multiplied by one all over x and that's just all over x here remember you have y here uh, let me bring it down so you have one over y <coughs> dy dx so at this point we want to multiply both sides by y and so this will take away this so that means our dy dx is simply equal to uh, 2y lin x uh, all over x. Then recall what our y is. So if you introduce that, you will have 2x raised to the power of lin x multiplied by lin x all over x. And uh, of course, that is our solution. All right, that's all we have for today. In uh, our subsequent videos, we're going to see more examples on this. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.